Hi and welcome to the Through Night channel. So today we're focusing on five different lights, kind of looking at them side by side and comparing them. The common theme here in today's video is going to be weapons lights. So on the left here we have the newest version of the Through Night TN12 Pro that comes with a pressure switch, which is very nice. Next to it we have the newer color, the Desert Tan version of the TN12 Pro. In the middle here we have the uh, Olight Odin. Then we have the Desert Tan version of the Through Night TW20. And on the end here, we have the Thrunite TW10. So first, I'm going to give you guys some basic specs on these, the price and highest output, as well as the type of LED and the battery source. Then we're going to go ahead and look at each individual light and talk about how it works. So starting on the left here, again, we have the Thrunite TN12 Pro. Um, even though this does have the pressure switch, as well as a weapons mount, um, this is a standard TN12 Pro. So the highest output is 1900 lumens. The LED on that one is an SFT40 LED, and the battery source is an 18650. These currently sell for $69.95. Next to it is essentially the same light without the accessories, only this is a newer color that's available, the Desert Tan, so it has the same, same exact specs, 1900 lumens, uh, SFT40 LED, and also runs on an 18650. The difference is this sells for $55.99. All right, a little bit cheaper if you don't want the weapons mount system as well as the pressure switch. But it is worth noting that if you happen to get the TN12 Pro with the pressure switch, it's all interchangeable. So if you happen to already have a TN12 Pro, or if you just happen to like this color, you can intermingle the parts, which is nice. So next up is the Olight Odin that has a capability of putting out 2,000 lumens. Unfortunately, uh, they don't mention what kind of LED it uses but it is running on a 21700 battery, so it's the largest battery as far as these lineups. And also a little bit of a, a bulkier, longer light, heavier, and so forth. It's also the most expensive on the table at $159.95. And to the right of that, we have the Thrunite TW20. This one obviously is the desert tan version of that light. It is capable of 2,532 lumens. It's running on SST70 LED. And this one also takes an 18650, just like the TN12 Pros. And this one currently sells for $79.95. And all the way to the right, we have the Thrunite TW10. All right, that one has a capability of 900 lumens. It's running on an Osram P9 LED. And the battery source for that one is an 18350. So something else worth mentioning is obviously this is the smallest, most compact. Uh, these are very preferable on pistols. A lot of people do like putting this uh, light system on a pistol, although I've uh, actually mounted it on a rifle and it works just as well. Whereas obviously the other ones here are gonna be too big for pistol applications. So it is worth noting that this one can go both on a pistol as well as a rifle. All right, so starting here, I'm actually gonna be doing both of these lights because they are identical. Okay, this is a black through night TN12 Pro and this is a desert tan TN12 Pro. The difference obviously is this is just a different color and this one comes with the pressure switch as well as the uh, mounting bracket. Now the thing with this is that even though this is a weapons uh, system light, if you choose to take it off your weapon, this does come with the original tail cap. So you could still use it as a regular EDC light or throw it in a bag or a drawer or something. It's not just going to be a weapons light forever. You have the option of switching back and forth, which is really, really nice. All right, so I did want to show that. This accessory is very important. I don't always focus on accessories, but I think it's a big deal here that you can swap back and forth. So again, these work identical, but if you happen to have the pressure switch on here, um, as you would imagine, pushing down on the switch is what turns on the light. So this would be mounted somewhere on a rail, and then you would put this pressure switch where it's convenient to touch, and then you can obviously operate the light with the switch, which is very nice. Now looking at the light a little bit closer here, uh, it does come with a pocket clip. That one comes with a pocket clip as well. All right, you see the charging port that's on the side here. Lift that little gate here, and you can see this is USB-C. Much preferred, especially with newer lights in 2022. I like to see ones that have the uh, fast charging capability. All right, we have a side switch. We also have a tail switch. We also have these wings that allow this to tail stand. This is huge, all right? A lot of people like the um, reverse grip and that tail switch to be able to turn the light on and off, but oftentimes because of that, the lights don't tail stand, they wobble over. This one tail stands perfectly fine. All right, I've always focused on this in the past because it's really nice to be able to illuminate a room completely hands-free. All right, so again, using the tail switch here, uh, half press is momentary on. This is gonna be the highest output as well, that full 1900 lumens. All right, you let go, light shuts off. Push all the way in and just constant on, all right? Or you can use the side switch independently. 
When you turn this on, you will notice a battery indicator. Okay, it lets you know that the battery is charged. It's blue. If it goes red, it means it needs to be charged. All right, if you push and hold down, it'll swap through different modes here, low, medium, and high. Double click, goes to turbo mode. From the off position, a long press is going to go into our moonlight load. All right, and then a triple click is going to go to strobe. So at this point, if you have a problem with flashing lights, you might want to skip ahead in the video. But here we go, three clicks, one, two, three, and we have a strobe. All right, very cool, very simple to use, um, ton of output, and very reasonably priced. That's why I like it so much. But um, I really like the option of having the uh, pressure switch. Specifically, if you're into firearms, it's just really nice that you can swap back and forth. You can have it on your rifle if you want, or you can take it off and just carry it around for EDC. So next up is the Olight Odin. All right, also has a pressure switch here. So a long hold is going to be uh, momentary on. You let go, it shuts off, or a quick press is going to be constant on. All right, this does uh, have a removable pressure switch. It does lock. It's a locking system. So if you put that ring down, you can hear it click. So locked, unlocked. All right, when it's locked, it's not going to accidentally pull off, but unlocked. It's magnetic, all right, because this is, has magnetic charging. So you can take the pressure switch off and you can also take off the mount. Uh, so you can use this, you know, independently as just a little pocket light or something. But um, this bar that the mount goes on is permanently attached uh, to the body. It's part of it. All right. So it's kind of nice they have that option to use it independently, but it's not quite as nice as, you know, some other uh, weapons lights. But there is the, uh, the Olight Odin. Next up here is the Thrunite TW20. This is the brightest light in this particular group. You can see the uh, charging port that's on the bottom here. All right, lift that up. You can see this is USB-C charging. Very nice. All right, uh, there is a power indicator LED here. All right, of course, the pressure switch. The pressure switch does um, you know, screw on as a tail cap, so it's not gonna accidentally pull loose or anything like that. So to use this, Long press is going to be your momentary on. You let go, it shuts off, or a quick press will just turn on for constant on. All right, in this case, you can see that this light does need to be charged because we have the red light. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge this one. Actually, I'm gonna charge up two of the other lights as well before I do the outside demo, so we're at full power. But you can see the mounting system on here. You do get interchangeable pieces for different types of rails. And as far as this one, you're just going to rotate this, okay? There's little, two little wings there, so um, you can do it hand tight, and then you can use a coin or something to actually snug that down even tighter. But it's a very, very simple system to, uh, to mount. All right, there is the Thrunight TW20. And last up here is the Thrunight TW10. All right, as I mentioned before, uh, very, very popular uh, for people to use these on pistols because it's very compact and simple, but you can use it on rifles. I've used it on a rifle before multiple times. Uh, also has interchangeable pieces here, same mounting system as the TW20. And the charging port is on the back of the light. All right, just get your nail in there, pop it open. You can see also USB-C, very nice. Now this has uh, little buttons on either side. So uh, again, specifically uh, for a pistol, when you're indexing your finger, this will be mounted up here. It's easy to use on the side, okay? Same thing with a rifle. If you're using your offhand, you can of course access those buttons on either side. So if you're righty or lefty, it doesn't matter. Um, but a quick press is gonna be constant on. All right, if you do a long hold, it's just going to be momentary on. So if you want the light, you let go, it shuts off. Or if you just want it on, you know, constant, just a, a quick press there. Really simple, really awesome light. And again, super cheap at $35.95. All right, so I'm going to head outside and get some beam shots for you so you can see how these actually perform at night. All right, so first up here is the Thrunite TN12 Pro. I'm using the one with the pressure switch. All right, so up. Down, left and right. Now obviously the other TN12 Pro without the pressure switch is gonna be identical. So we're gonna switch over to the Odin. So here it is, the Olight Odin. All right, go up, down. Let that focus. Left and right. Next up is the Thrunite TW20. All right, using the pressure switch there, turning it up. Let the cam focus down. Left and right. 
And last up here is a through night TW10. All right, up. Hold the camera focus, down. Left. And right. All right, guys, so there you go. Now you can see how these compare to each other. Um, I mean, like a lot of comparison videos, I don't think you can go wrong. Every light on the table here is a high quality, nice flashlight. Uh, there's always going to be pros and cons, okay? Obviously, price, output, um, you know, the way it charges, all these different things, you know, really come down to preference. It's what you're looking for in a weapons light. But in this particular case, I have to say the TW10 is awesome because uh, obviously it can go into a pistol, whereas none of these are really going to, it's not going to be practical to use it on a pistol. Uh, but it is nice that you can still use that on a rifle. So it's very, very versatile. It's also the cheapest light uh, on the table. It happens to have the least lumens at 900 lumens. But as you saw with the demo, still plenty of light to uh, see whatever target you're looking to shoot at. Uh, the Olight Odin, very cool features with the magnetic tail cap and everything. I do like that the mounting system kind of comes off, even though we have that bar in there. But price tag is $159.95, so definitely on the pricier side. The second brightest, though, uh, in this group. The brightest in the group, of course, is the Through Night TW20 at, again, 2,532 lumens. Pretty amazing stuff, um, and I do like the simple mounting system. And of course, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I really like the versatility and compatibility with the TN12 Pro, especially now that Thrunite is offering the pressure switch version of this on Amazon, $69.95, very cool option. And again, if you have other TN12 Pro models like this Desert Tan one, it's all interchangeable parts, which is really cool. But again, I can't stress enough how awesome it is that it comes with the original tail cap here. All right, so you can go back to an EDC light. I think it is the most versatile because even though these are all capable weapons lights, they're not all EDC lights. But through night took the TN12 Pro, which is a very popular capable EDC light, and they gave you an option to mount it onto your weapons, which is pretty neat. So that's it for this video. If you guys are not familiar, through night does giveaways on products all the time. It's 100% free to you. All you have to do to enter is comment on these videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.